the president yesterday in that press conference uh, uh, kept talking about how, hey, you know, we can't have him testify under oath because the president needs uh, impartial advice. You know, he needs to know that people are going to be honest with him, right? Mm-hmm. It was a rambling, silly, nonsensical press conference. Uh, but their argument is, and Tony Snow makes it when he talks to the press, and the president made it during that press conference on uh, Tuesday. They say, no, no, we're, I've still we've got this good plan. I don't see what the problem is. They can still go up there uh, and be interviewed and tell people what happened, just not under oath. Well, how does that not infringe on executive privilege? I mean, there's no consistency in the argument. If your argument is, no, I can't have people going up and talking to Congress, well, then you can't have them going up and talking to Congress, whether they're under oath or not. Hold on. Everybody stop the presses. Ben Meg was has come up with a brilliant point. Basically, they're saying it infringes on executive privilege if you don't allow them to lie. Right. Okay. But if you know, if you allow them to talk to you about exactly what you want them to talk to you about, that's fine. That doesn't, uh, you know, cross executive privilege. But if you swear them in, then all of a sudden executive yeah, privilege. He's, he's saying I'm comfortable with them going up there talking to you, but they got to be able to lie. That that's the only possible way to interpret. That distinction. If they really believe about this no- executive privilege nonsense in this case, then they have to say, then their deal should be, you can't talk to them. You can't talk to them at all. We'll send you notes of what we deem to be acceptable, and we'll give you those. That's it. 